What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are back with the Twin Turbo 348 Challenge. If you guys saw our last video on this car, you'll remember I said we were gonna be doing some upgrades to this car, but there has been a little bit of a change of plans. Shortly after we posted the last video on this car, we were actually reached out to about bringing this car on an upcoming Amazon Prime TV show called Bangin' Gears. After talking to the owners of the vehicle, everybody agreed, let's just go for it. However, Steve does not wanna put their uh, rare 355 Challenge gearbox at risk. So in today's video, we're gonna be dropping this transmission out and swapping it for one of Steve's spare transmission for this car. Let's get right to it. I've decided that uh, basically we are gonna go ahead and run the car without servicing it. And um, the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm not going to engage its higher boost setting. So at this point, basically, the car will have about 500 wheel. The transmission that's in this car is unique and special to this car. And um, I just don't wanna risk breaking it. And since I have two spare transmissions of my own, I decided, you know what, I'll just put my own transmission in it and then I don't have to worry about it being broken. This transmission, the gear sets are actually going sideways. The engine is going longitudinal, forwards and backwards. And the gear set is here and the clutch is behind the transmission. So the way this car works, it actually has a thin, small, solid shaft that comes back and turns the flywheel, which is in here. And then that flywheel then has a clutch on it and a hollow shaft that's coaxial goes back forward and runs a drop gear. And the drop gear goes forward, which turns a bevel gear, which then turns a transmission. This exhaust system that we built here actually has two completely separate circuits. So the upper circuit, which is two and a half and two and a half, and the lower circuit, which is two and a quarter and two and a quarter. Now, you can see by the fact that this is all black and this is all black, and these ones are pretty clean inside, that all the gases go through this one when the car is actually on boost and going fast. Um, when you're putting around, all the gases go through this one. Now the smaller one goes to the rather large muffler that's actually really good at making the car quiet. Now I built several different versions of that muffler until I got one that sounded as close as possible to a stock F40. So when I built this car, the goal was to try to make a poor man's F40 because F40s are way too expensive. So anyway, um, the upper ones only flow when the valve is opened up. Um, and you can see uh, we use V-bands so that the exhaust is able to be removed quite easily. Uh, this piece here is what actually mounts the rear exhaust. So that was designed in CNC machine by me probably in 2007 or 2009 somewhere. I don't remember if I made that at the beginning of the project or the end of the project. Now you can see our clutch pack is actually off the gearbox. And like I was telling you earlier, this shaft here goes into the crank of the engine and is directly connected to and turns from the engine. You pull it out and you can see now it's disconnected. This shaft here is what is driven by the clutch and it actually turns the transmission. Now you can see here, this is one of the most important things in this these transmissions is that when you take them apart, you see this thing has absolutely like no discernible backlash in it. That means that all the splines on the gear, the drop gear, which is here, and the bevel gear, and the actual forwards backward thrust bearing that's over here in the side case of the gearbox are all tight. And this thing has no discernible backlash at all. So this gearbox is in really good condition, really don't want to break it. The 
transmission is off. That'll probably be it for today. Uh, in a couple of days, we'll be back at it. Uh, we're gonna get the transmission down off the pallet rack and uh, install Steve's transmission, and we'll go from there. Several days later. So we're back at it. Uh, it's been about a week or so now, and uh, we got distracted by some other work here at the shop. Uh, but now, uh, my dad and I are gonna go ahead and put this other transmission in and get this car prepped for, uh, for the track. This is a, a spare transmission from my car. To make it fit the 348 engine, you can see this bolt that's right here. So this is a spare box from my personal car that uh, was modified so that the 355 gearbox would fit onto a 348 engine. And the only real things that has to be modified is you have to use the 355 oil pan because these ears are further down. And this one stud here has to be moved. blue and the ones that were on the other transmission or still on the other transmission are black. Um, these are a little bit later versions of the same parts and um, they're slightly different. So these are for my car and all the spacing and everything is the same. And my car also has a newer updated version of the actual transmission mount, which is billet aluminum instead. Um, and this is the one that came out of the car um this is about half the weight so um both this and in the piece in front of it are cnc machined aluminum in my car and so i'm just going to go ahead and run all the parts that go with my transmission in this car <laughs> everything is back together uh, Martin helped bleed the clutch with this car. Uh, the last thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put the tires on. Uh, we actually got brand new uh, Toyo R888Rs. Uh, this car has actually been running the Toyo R888s for pretty much its entire life, which is about, what, 10, 11 years now. Uh, they've continued to be our favorite tire, especially for this car. Uh, so that's what we're gonna continue to run. This video up with a quick little test drive make sure that this car drives and shifts uh, as we're expecting so let's do it Like everything's really good. This one, the steering is much lighter now. This transmission also has like pretty much brand new synchros in it. And these synchros have a lot less miles on them than the other one. So the synchros are really tight. A little too cold for that. It's good. 